New at five, we are seeing a new affordable housing development that leaders hope will revitalize one area of Orlando. So one housing developer has transformed the former Ambassador Hotel into some new apartments. The property located along Colonial Drive east of Orange Blossom Trail. New Six's Jerry Askin took a tour today alongside Mayor Buddy Dyer. So Jerry, how do things look out there? Hey, Matt, good evening. Not bad. And I'll be able to show you inside one of the studio apartments we got to see today. One of the units, many of them going for as low as $750. Take a look here. Again, we're at the um, apartments here. Residents can begin applying today for these affordable housing units. They'll be able to move in in February. 150 newly renovated units happening in two phases. It's so high here now. Residents we spoke with said finding an affordable place to live has been a struggle especially with rising rent and inflation. Has it been hard for you to find affordable housing? Um, absolutely. Eric Critchlow hopes he can soon move into one of these 150 newly renovated affordable housing units at the Palm Garden Apartments here on Colonial Drive in Westmoreland. It used to be the blighted Ambassador Motel. The Ambassador has been a target for the city of Orlando for a long time, so we got the right partner at the right time. And then here we have two different phases of finished. Tuesday, Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer and other city and housing leaders got a look inside these apartments that are now under construction. It's a $15 million project, all in partnership with the developer One Stop Housing that's pitching in, plus the city of Orlando that's using part of a federal grant to help address housing and homelessness across the city. In this great partnership, we've been able to, one, clean up the neighborhood, uh, at least the problem here, and um, provide some really great housing options that are affordable. I'm standing inside what will soon be a studio here at the Palm Gardens Apartments. We also got a look at renderings here, giving us an up-close look at what this studio would soon look like. The developer says this studio, for example, will go for as low as $750, including utilities. The city said more than 100 units are for people at or below 60% area median income. City housing leaders said the goal is to try and keep the rates affordable. There are safeguards that, that control how much the rent can rise. And, um, you know, we, we, we try to do our best to, to keep it so that it remains affordable. Yeah, back live, I posted a link to apply and get on the waiting list right now, clickorlando.com. The city says 15 units will go for about $461, but those units are being reserved for the homeless services networks for homeless residents. We're live in Orlando. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results. News 6. It's a good start, Jerry.